Hi all, and welcome back to our Minecraft Let's Play Old World Revived. Yeah, I'm out here in the middle of freaking nowhere. A long, long way from home, as you can see here. Let me just zoom out a bit. Home, and I'm all the way out, whoa, shit, out here. But yeah, due to the fact that I've got my goggles of revealing on, I can see aura nodes uh, in uh, various places, like special types of aura nodes that's hidden inside of a silver... Oh, I got that silver, please! But yeah, what I'm doing here... Die, you piece of shit. Is because I found this. Die, you dumb piece of motherfucker. And I found this Arno right here. Whoa. But first let us uh, contend with these guys right on here. Okay. That was... Thank you, and here we go. And let's light this place up, something fierce. Okay, and there's a couple, couple, uh, couple nope, there, or oh, probably outside. Okay, one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. Okay then, with my uh, goggles of revealing, I can see what kind of... Um, uh, stuff that's inside the node, but I haven't researched it yet, so I can research it and get the node. <laughs> nice. Okay, so they are outside now. Growling like... Oh, no, they're down here. Hey, how you doing? Uh, we, got a, we got a couple of sampies down here. Yeah, I've done uh, a bit of um, research and uh, stuff in order to uh, get a... a small much as possible. So, whoa. I don't like them. I don't like them. Yeah, there we go. Come on down, you stupid son of a Okay, that's it. I'm going up and plucking off the way down here. As you can see, they're always path towards the earth. Do I have anything to pluck it off? No, no I don't. So I'm, I can just get one. Oh, God damn it! You stupid son of a fuck! There we go. Oh. I hate zombies. Well, uh, let's get our pouches out and ready. Let us just see the blue one. Let us just uh, all the things we don't need at the moment. Yeah, I found some. Some new bushes. Uh, yeah, we don't have. Okay, off with you. Cool. Blue pouch. Random stuff that we won't need at the moment. Ah, three lovely chests. Let's see. <laughs> Logic matrixes and paper. Kind of love paper. Okay, next test. More logic made. A paintbrush, a stencil, two music discs, uh, steadfast drone. Ooh, and more Indian lilies. Nice. Uh, sorry. Okay, I'll put you here in this one. And now for the final test, let's hope for something good. A steel sword, two ingots, and a sh two, two shiny ingots. What the fuck? Uh, Man, these places are so goddamn... Ah, uh, okay. Probably put something down that I shouldn't have. Yeah, this one. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Chest. Oh, already got chest. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, then. Uh, I'm going to mark this spot right here. Nah, I don't think I have to. Nope, I can see I can see where it is on the map. Yeah, I know it. So I can grab these two. Uh, ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I already got a portal at home, right? Okay, it... but it's the only way through. Let's just do it. Okay, I know that the yellow one is at the top of my face, so I'm gonna do this. Ha! 
Haha. Okay. Place it there. Haha. Nice. Got another skeleton spawner. Okay, we're gonna place this bad boy out here where it's light. Oh. Down here by the spider spawner. Oh, I can't place it there. There we go. Whoop. Come on, come on. Get up, get up. Come on. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Oh, there we go. Hey, I don't have fence gate. Hmm, you do not have the knowledge required to do that. God damn it. Clean my inner lilies and yeah. Hey, how you doing, cooler? Yeah. There's a thing about this. Come on, come on. Okay, back through the portal. Back through the portal. Come on, you can do it. Back through the portal. Come on. Come on. Yeah, go. go. God damn it. Thank you. Um, let's uh, get, get some food here. Ooh, there's something I haven't tried yet. No, I don't think I can. Nope. The port. Yoink. You do not have the knowledge. Oh, cool. It actually works. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, donkey? Okay. Nice. I love it when uh, that happens because. Yeah. Whoa. Cool. And then I'll just do a uh, shift and. Nope. Ah, I need to hold down R. Pressing R once uh, um, shuts down both of them. Holding down R and the one you want to shut down. Just so. Uh... There we go. Okay, let's get the bloody hell out of here. God damn, I love goggles of revealing. Okay, and that is a pure node that's inside a tree. So yeah, let me just uh, show you guys. Um, Silverwood trees like this. Whoa. That's a raspberry, thank you. Got raspberries, I think. Yeah, silver trees like this can actually um, grow these uh, trunk pieces that had this little black spot on them. When that is, uh, <clears throat> when it has that, it means that it has a, uh, a special type of aura node inside of it. And this one is actually a, a pure one. As you can see, it uh, has this really beautiful effect to it. So yeah, um... Uh, with the goggles revealing, it doesn't tell you what kind of aura node it is. It just tells you what's inside of it. You have to physically research it first. So, um, as, you, uh, as you remembered in my first uh, video of this week, um, I was uh, out here uh, in these special type of magical biomes, searching for uh, great wood trees with uh, spiderweb on them in order to get the um, chest underneath. Well, now I'm out here searching for silverwood trees with nodes in them. And with my goggles are revealing, those nodes are clearly visible as day. Let's see if we can't... Uh, if we, uh, we can even see the nodes through other trees and through foliage and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. 
as you can see here, this is a tree with spiderweb on it. And underneath here, whoa, look at that, look at that. What the hell, there's a node on the ground. There is a special type of node on the ground here. Let me see if I can pinpoint its accurate location here. I know you're not supposed to break straight down. But I do have, come on, I do have flight. There we go. And this here is a aura node of Terra, Ignis and Air. Nice. And then I'm going to research it. It's just a normal node, but what the hell. It's still a node that, you, uh, that we found underneath uh, the ground. So yeah, that's uh, one way of finding uh, nodes and caves, actually. Is to find where there is a node, because the... Whoa! Oh, aluminium bushes. Nice! Okay, let me just land here. Nice aluminium bushes gives off these small uh, uh, aluminium pieces right here. And these can actually be used themselves in cooler things. And you'll find them in caves and stuff like that. So let's get back up here. Whoa! Look at that! We found ourselves another pure node inside a tree. So let's uh, do this. Just taking a couple of these won't harm the tree. Okay, cool. Let us uh, research it. It's a pure node, and as you see down there, I did not uh, did not only get the three that's on there. I also got uh, gained two research point of Sano. That's because you get a bonus for researching nodes that uh, that, uh, that is pure and stuff like that. So yeah. Whoa! Oh damn! I was, I was just like, what the fuck kind of creature that is? Okay, what I had. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna continue on here and uh, look for more um, nodes and stuff like that to research and get points so we can really uh, get this ball rolling with our uh, stuff. And there's the Wigger Man again. I have no idea if I should set him on fire or what the fuck. That's, uh, I think it's what you have to do to a Wigger Man, right? Oh, what? Oh, look at this. There's a node out there. But there's also a pure node right up here. So let's uh, land this puppy here and let's go. Ooh. More Sano. Oh, that's sweet. And what kind of what kind of node is this out here? Ooh. This is a normal but completely aqua node. Meaning that, ah, oh, damn it. If only it had been 100 node, it would have been a pure aqua node. Then we got bonus points. Uh, for that too. So yeah, uh, see you in a bit. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's more over here too. Oh, nice. Yeah. So see ya, and yeah, meet you back at, uh, at the uh, mage cave, <laughs> a hall of mages, and we will uh, start making some cool things happen. Yep, see you in a bit. Hi again, I just wanted to show you this guys. This here is a totem pole with a aura node inside of it. And this one is blinking, I don't know why it's blinking, because we may not be able to research it, but you can see all of the things that is, uh, that is inside of it, that's quite a lot. So let's try and research it. Nice, it is a sinister but fading aura node, meaning that all of that in time would actually uh, disappear. So that's actually quite sad, but yeah, it's a sinister, but yeah. Uh, if we get the the chance to get, um, I can see a, a node right there. Yeah, uh, if we get the chance to, uh, yeah, to uh, be able to take, uh, get the research to grab our nodes, we're gonna go and grab that one. Even though it's sinister, it is quite cool having that many. Oh, oh, look at this. We got one here with a question mark maybe we have enough to uh, research it no i don't so that is a unique pure aura node here we got this there we go that's a normal one yeah so this one 
it's a unique one. So we're gonna do this, mark, and unique. Uh, Unique Silverwood node. There we go. Now I know where that is. Well, continuing on. And I am back. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, as you can see, I lost everything. Everything. I had to... Um, accumulated over the two hours I have been out and um, researching aura nodes and stuff like that uh, because I was back and forth to my base um, uh, making sure that the quarry here didn't overflow and stuff like that and yeah um, so I went, uh, came back um, just to check on the quarry out here and uh, how it looks, and I wanted to stop the quarry because I didn't want to continuously um, run when I'm out and scouting for stuff. So uh, I was uh, around here and looking, just looking, and then I found over here, I was looking over here, uh, I don't think we can see it now, but there is an, over, uh, there is an aura node, there it is, there it is, see aura node? There's actually two right beside each other here. And then I thought to myself, wait a minute. There is a special aura node right over here. You can probably barely see it. It's right there, right above my X. You can see it right there, right above my X. This special aura node, as you can see, sucks items in. And look at this. I'm going to... Look at this. The items just get sucked in. As you see, I'm trying to get away from it, and it's hard as hell. So yeah, uh, I died, uh, died down here, and as you uh, see, it um, it made that gravestone, and I was like. Yes, all my items are still there. And then I broke the gravestone and all my items got sucked up into that um up into that aura note right there. <sighs> Two hours wasted. Also my um my magma my magma engine up here also got destroyed. <sighs> and my yeah. My wand, my thumb, uh, thumb, uh, thumb nomicon book, all of the items I've gathered because I found an underground base. Well, an underground uh, railroad system. Oh my god! The worst thing is the portal gun, the potato portal gun, because if I make a new one, um, the portals that are up at the moment um, will still be up. Uh, and that will hinder my game something fierce. As you can see, the portals are still up, even though the portal gun is destroyed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sometimes I hate it, but... Uh, in the constellation, we do have this one. We could make this into a potato portal gun. It's just a normal uh, portal gun. We could make it into a potato but a potato gun. But yeah, now I'm gonna have to uh, make a completely new Thorncraft book. But that's that's not gonna be not gonna be any problem because uh, we can just make uh, we just have to make a new wand. We got some of these here. Uh, is it enough to make two wands? Yeah, it's enough to make two caps. Good. Hey, Charlie. K. 
Okay, and then we're gonna place this one there, and this one there, and get that back my that. And then we just need a couple of wood planks. We need the books. And from there, luckily enough, um, all the research that I've gathered is actually locked to my carrots and not locked to the book. So, as you see here, I still got all of my research done. But yeah, oh, let me just get some food here quite quick. Oh, we're gonna take this one down, we're gonna take these down, we're gonna do this, we're gonna move that. <sighs> okay. fast oh yeah cool so uh yeah damn look at all this nice stuff okay uh let us uh research excited not as you need scribe, yeah, of course, uh, my scribing tools got destroyed as well, so we need some ink, we need some paper, which I think we've got tons of up here somewhere, uh, yeah, got some paper. And then I need to remember myself how the heck do I make scribing tools. Um, a glass valve. Oh, I thought it was paper. No, a glass valve, an ink, uh, an ink sack, or a feather and a feather. So feathers, feathers. That's not gonna be a problem. A glass valve. Not gonna be a problem. Oh. I think it's the other way. Yeah. And an ink, and the ink sack. So I think it's just something like this, like this, and like this. And you get some, a bunch of scrapping tools. Sweet. And paper, and. Perfect. Let's go down and do some research, shall we? Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, Ordo, Cognito, and the Owl thingy. Whoops. The Owl thingy was Census. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Ordo, Cognito, and Census. Let us see what do they have in common. Auto, no, yeah, uh, Cognito, Terra and Spiritus, and I know that Census, the Owl, where is that thing? Where's the Owl? There we go, has Spiritus itself. So, Cognito has uh, Terra and Spiritus? The owl have air and spirit, so that's easy. Then we need Ordo. Uh, Ordo itself is a prime uh, thingy. So we need something that has Ordo and maybe spirits or something else. Or air. No, not that. So a thing that has Ordo and spirits. Let's see. 
Hmm, we've got a lot of them that has auto, but not auto and the one we need. Okay, let's see. Cognito, what was that? That was uh, Terra and Spiritus. And the Owl was Air and Spiritus. Do we have anything that could connect those two that has auto? Tellum has Saxum and Ordo. Well, this is gonna be a tough one, guys. But we do know how to uh, how to connect the first two. Oh, let me just get out of bad form here. Oh, God damn it. Uh, Cognito and Senses. That's pretty easy because they both have Spiritus. Spiritus and we got seven. Okay, that we can't do. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can do that. Uh, then we're going to take the Brain. Yeah. And then just another Senses. Bang, and then those two are connected. Okay, now we need to figure out if we're going to connect uh, Spiritus with Ordo or Cognito with Ordo. And, whoops, that was the wrong one. Cognito, Terra and Spiritus. Ah. <sighs> Vitreous and Motus. Spiritus itself has Vitreous and Motus. Where Granum has Vitreous and Ordo. Okay, so if we take this one here. Not spiritus, but uh, what one was it? This one, and then spiritus. Bingo! Ha! <laughs> Man, I'm good. Uh, knowledge is power. You have become more efficient at performing research. Whenever you remove an aspect that uh, you placed in a hex. There is a 25% chance that you will regain that research point. Ooh, cool. You are also able to see what aspects you need to combine to create an aspect you are hovering over. Nice. Yeah, that's what we see here. Sweet. Research mastery. Deconstructive table when taking a good look just isn't enough. You need scribing tools for this. Ah, uh, yeah, we need to take the scribing tools back. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one first because it is pretty damn awesome to have this one. Okay, cool. Matics. Uh, senses, auto, and cognito. Now that we know how we can connect auto, uh, okay, we need, yeah. Now, cool. When we're in here, I can see what uh, type of things I need. I need auto, and I need ah, uh, uh, that life heart thing. There we go. Bam. The life hot thingy. 
Bam. Spiritus is uh, this one and this one. Spiritus. And then... Ah, uh, Cognito. Let us just see here. I completely forget. Nope. Why am I doing that? Uh, Cognito, that is Terra and Spiritus. Cool. Then we just need Terra. All those two are connected. Okay, Ordo and... Uh, Ordo and uh, Census. Census also has Spiritus. So we can probably do it most likely the same way, where we take this one. We take the Life Essence. And we take a Spiritus. Now those two are connected. Okay, let us see. Now we need to figure out which uh, we're going to connect. Senses or Cognito to Magic. Magic is uh, Voidus and that. And Senses is Air and that. So, let us see what type of things we can combine. Okay, uh, let's, let us just start off with Magix. There we go, Magix. Uh, vacuous, vacuous and Potentia. Now we need to find out something that contains Vacuous and Potentia. Hmm. Tempest uh, contains Vacuous and Ordo. Vacuous and Lux. Vacuous itself requires air and but Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. And I know that Senses is air. So, Magic has Vacuous. We use vacu um, uh, Vacuous to, go, uh, to get the air aspect. Ah, I think, I think I got it, I think I got it. It's gonna be a long shot. Yeah. Magic itself has that. So we can probably take this. Bam. That has air. We're gonna take the raw air aspect. Air aspect can then uh, be channeled to anything that has air. Bam. The Lux has fire. We're gonna take a fire aspect. Bam. Okay, now here comes the uh, tricky part. How do we connect the fire aspect to uh, the owl senses that has air and that? We need something that uh, that has air and fire aspect in it. Something that is gonna... Nope. Yeah, but... Why doesn't it connect to the owl? It has air. Lux has air. It, why doesn't it connect to the owl? Uh. Fire is a primal. Senses half air. So why doesn't they connect? Okay. Scrap the fire thingy. That doesn't work either. That's weird. Uh, 
<sighs> Wait a minute. Yeah, that has Cognito in it. Let's try something new. Beast, uh, Beastle has that in it. And Modus. And Magic has... Okay, wait a minute. Let's just see here. Magic has that. If I... Yeah. Now let's see how we can connect those two. Beastle. Beastle has that. Uh, Beastle has that. That one has air and water. No, that doesn't work. Okay, maybe I should take a air and then fire. What is not connecting here? Ah, oh, these two are not connecting. Why not? Why are they not connecting? Spirits is... Ah, oh, what the fuck am I thinking about here? Okay, yeah, I was completely out of it. Okay. That's the way to go. There we go! Oh my god, what a... <laughs> oh my god. You have become even more efficient at performing research. Whenever you remove an aspect uh, that uh, you placed in the hex, there's a 50% you'll get it back. Additionally, there's a 10% chance that whatever you place uh, an aspect, that uh, it uh, will not cost any research point. Lastly, you are able to combine aspects in a research table by right uh, by clicking uh, control click on a uh, aspect you wish to create. Oh, nice. Oh, sorry. For example, let's say... Uh, let's see. Which one do we have very little of? Very little of that we can combine. We can combine this one. Just by hitting, uh, holding down uh, control. Well, actually, Alt. You need to hold down Alt on mine. You can just create it. And with all that research done, and uh, yeah, me going to have to get my stuff back and uh, all that. Also have to make another pair of goggles of revealing. I'll say thank you all so very much for watching, and catch on the flip side.